There are some major problems with those new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle black light sodas. Let's talk about it. To our good friends from Down Under. Did that sound good or? No. Our friend Peter reached out to us to let us know that the Black Light Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sodas are having a lot of issues down under. Does it sound better that time? No. Now that's a knife. Did that sound better? Or? <laughs> Shrimp on the Bobby. Does that sound better? That or? doesn't happen. Just stop. We'll get into the problem, but I just want to start off by saying I'm not shocked at all. No, me neither. I expected there to be some sort of problem with these things because they're all packed into one little cooler. Honestly, I thought the problem would be we wouldn't get a chase with every single cooler. I figured there would be a f up or something. Or we'd get multiple chases in coolers, which I mean, then there would be coolers without chases. So yeah, that. Oh, I cleaned out my, my one ear today. It had a f hair in it. I know you got hairy ears. I've been telling you that for a long time. Yeah. The problem with the sodas were highlighted by Instagrammer Pops Adventures. Pops with a Z. I don't want anybody to get confused uh, with Pops with an S Adventures. This is Pops with the Z Adventures. Pops. Pops Adventures. Not Pops. Pops. Pops Adventures. Pops. Pops Adventures. You keep saying it with a B. Pops Adventures. There you go. That was good. When you live in Australia, you do a lot of weird. Like putting a Z where an S belongs. No, people here do that. I know. I... Like we're the gazzle cast. I just changed us to the gazzle cast. What? Yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you do that? <laughs> Don't change us to the gazzle cast. Look, I even changed our link tree to the gazzle cast. <laughs> it's not like that on mine. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, so when you changed it. Oh, that son of a so the problem is the sodas are coming in with the wrong Paul. The Bebop apparently is turning up with a Leonardo Chase Paul. Like I would assume that this Bebop is common. I don't know what this Bebop is. There's no photo of a Bebop. Oh, it just has a Paul. It just has the Paul. And it just shows you that there's a Chase Paul in it. But our friend Peter messaged me and we're gonna listen to Peter right now. Hey Chris, um, Pete from Australia here. I thought I would just drop you a message, man. I just want to say I love his accent. I know. Like, it's amazing. I know. I have this trash Baltimore accent. If I could have an accent like that, I would be swimming in it. Okay, here we go. When I say swimming in it, I don't mean girls. I mean money. You can swim in girls if that's what you're into. That sounds weird. If that's what you want. Okay, here we go. The girls would have to be melted down if I was swimming in them now. Oh, that would weird. be weird. Well, I just picked up the black light turtles uh, from pop culture in Australia. Uh, and we actually ended up opening four boxes. Uh, every box had a defective Bebop in it, so they didn't have the right Pog, they had the missing Pog, a lot of them had Chase Leonardo Pogs, um, so all of the turtles coming are most likely defective. Uh, Pop Culture have stopped selling them and are going to recall all of their stuff. Uh, you guys might want to get ready and make a video. Thanks man, bye. That's exactly what we did, we made a video. What are you doing? I'm sitting here playing Peter's voice message, you're on the phone? You're playing with Peter's. So Peter's saying that pop culture is recalling all of the sodas. But I'm confused because they're still up on pop culture. They are? Yeah. Well, maybe they're recalling the ones that have already gone out. I don't know. I think Peter's pulling your leg. I don't think Peter... I think would, Peter's pulling your leg. Peter would never pull my leg. I think leg. he's pulling your leg. He would no, Peter wouldn't do that. Me and Peter are like this. Did you see a bebop in that can? No. That's but not from Peter. That's from somebody else on Instagram. Well, then how does Peter know? Because he's friends with Pops with a Z. Adventure. I'm just saying, your leg might be being pulled. I don't think it's being pulled. Let Peter, you you can't be pulling my leg. Let me see Let me see the video. I thought you were going to ask to see my leg to see if it's being pulled. No, let me see the video. What video? The video. What video? From Pops there's, with there's a no, Z. There's no video. It's of just a photo. Of course there isn't now. There's, no, there's photos. Oh, that's it? Yes, that's it. So apparently there's a huge issue going on down under. I feel like I'm getting better at that, the more that I say it. Okay, let me show you something. It's a 
Rudolph soda. Hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Hold, hold on. Close it, close it. I gotta close it. Okay, look. I took my picture of my can. There's a oh Mickey Mouse. Oh my gosh! Paw. It's Mickey Mouse! Look, I got a common vampire Mickey Pog in my soda. Wait, wait, so you're trying to say that an Instagrammer with 4,000 followers would lie to their audience about these Funko Pops and Peter would message me and lie to me also? Is that what you're telling me? You're I don't... telling me the people from down under are gonna pull my leg? Is that what you're telling me? Without a video, I can't say. Oh my God, unbelievable. I'm just saying. You're but... not just saying, you're just calling them liars. That's what you're doing. I'm not calling them liars. That's I what you just did. I love you, Peter. I trust you, Peter. I love Peters. I don't think you're a liar, but... Oh, that's bullshit. You just totally called him a liar. Pobs Adventures? They're friends. Could be. Oh, you're calling Pobs Adventures a liar. They oh, that's nice. Be. Hey, Pobs with a Z Adventures. Please could comment be. down below and let us know that you're not a liar. And also, you know, you send a video to Heather on Gasocast on, on Instagram. Oh, I get like, a video I, I want Peter? you. I want you to prove to her that she is being a real big butthead right now. And I don't like it. Seriously, though. Seriously. No, seriously. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Seriously, call them liars. And I don't think I that's cool. Listen, you have to be really careful with what you see on the internet because sometimes people do pull your leg. Ah! You pulled me right into your chair leg! I know! Why would you do that? I pulled your leg into my leg. We gotta injure me to prove that lies are real? Okay, but seriously, this does not shock me at all. What doesn't shock you? That you're calling people liars? No, that sodas are coming with the wrong paw. Of course sodas are coming with the wrong paw! It happens all the time! But you made a very good point about these sodas. That there are 10k around the entire world. That's besides the point. Well, hold on. No, no, no. It's very moment. important. I think you need to point that out. Because if there are only, say, 8,000 here and 2,000 in Australia or some sort of number like that, you're saying, you're trying to get us all to believe that there are 10K sodas only of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle black light sodas. Is that what you're saying? I didn't say that yet in this video, but yes. Why are you saying that? Or why are, were you saying that before this video and now I'm bringing it up? So typically with the overseas sodas, the can or the sticker is different. There's different limits overseas versus over here. Here we have a 10K sticker, there they have a 10K sticker. And from everything that I've seen, the cans and the stickers are the same. So I think it's 10K all around the world. That's, that's a very small amount of sodas. Yeah. That's super limited. Yeah. I think these are gonna be grail worthy at some point. Yeah. I mean, you really think so? Yeah. Funko basically says F you if you get the wrong pog or the wrong figure oh. because they only make a certain amount. Mm, okay. But at least I don't go around calling people liars, especially I'm from not, down on down. I'm not calling anybody a liar. I'm just saying, unless I see a video, it's very hard to believe. Uh, and people tough. fake videos all the time. You gotta make a wish. Okay, I just did. No, like when you blow it away. Oh, I just did. Yeah, blew it but away. But you didn't blow it away. You blew it away. Yeah, I did. I made a wish. So now I wish it will come true because it got blown. That's all that matters if it's blown. If Pop Culture actually does recall those sodas and Funko says, fuck you, then there's going to be that many less in circulation unless Funko actually does something about it. Well, the point that Peter was bringing up, does this mean that there are sodas that are going to be messed up here? So in these photos, this Pops Adventures said that multiple of the the bebops came with chase leonardo pogs right and it makes me wonder are we going to see a lot of leonardo showing up with bebop pogs what if they didn't even make bebop pogs and they oh. <laughs> put only chase leonardo's in the bebops i don't think that's very likely it's just something stupid yeah something got the old switcheroo happened somewhere the old switcheroo, the old switcheroo. Somewhere. so this is sort of a mess and we really expected there to be a qa issue with these particular sodas but this is something i didn't expect at all Really? No, as I mentioned earlier, I expected bags to show up without a chase in it. Yeah, or, or bags more with chases. Right, chases. exactly. Yeah. 
So I guess we'll find out this week if United States boxes are having the same exact issue or not because they shipped out last week. I ordered it. It was a day later and it shipped out. So I should have mine by like this Wednesday. Wow. Yeah, they actually shipped really fast. Also, the Mandalorian shipped really fast too. I just got a notification for that today. Me too. I ordered too. yesterday. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, we're going to have so many Mandalorians that nobody wants. Great. Well, if you're a patron, you might get a free Mandalorian. What's the matter with that? Nothing. That's awesome. It's a Mandalorian with spear. I don't think anybody wants that. Oh, they're going to want that. Patrons, whatever you do, don't buy any of the Mandos with the spears because we got you hooked up. We got a lot coming. We got too many coming. Well, like three. I'm just f***ing stupid. I told you I bought them. I know, and I told you I bought them, and I was dumb, so. If you're in Australia and you bought these sodas, let us know if you received the wrong pog with your uh, Bebop uh, soda. Let us know all of that. Or if you received no chases or if you received multiple chases. Yes, all, all of that. Like if you have any problems with those sodas, we'd love to know right now because you guys are getting them sooner than we are. Yeah. Yeah. Yippoo. Yeehoo. What? <laughs> I thought we were going to keep going. <laughs> I couldn't after that. So our friend Alan sent us a package and he has a letter here. He says, Chris and Heather, thank you for being a major part of my daily happiness. Until I am able to become a patron, I thought I'd send you a few things. There are two dwarves in here. You should be able to tell immediately which one is for whom. I love dwarves, Alan! And since we all have the dwarves Tuscan Raider on Bantha, which is an awesome dwarves, by the way, I thought we should all have the plush Tuscan Raider on a Bantha. He's drooping hard in the saddle. The Bantha looks pretty cool without him. Feel free to love or trash it. I'm okay either way. I just wanted to show my appreciation for what you do every day. You're just great, both of you. Alan got a lot of pops on Instagram. My ass and a donut. IG watches, can, can K IG gaming, and X oh my head X on YouTube. So you can find him in all these different places right here. You can go ahead and uh, pause and, and check him out. So he sent us some cool stuff. He sent us this Bantha, and this Bantha is pretty awesome. Look at this Bantha. Oh my gosh. So here's the Bantha, and he is separated like the glue separated. So he's he's up there. Look at him. Isn't he awesome? Look at this. This might be like the coolest like plush I think I've ever seen. I love this thing. He's amazing. He is cool. Now he cut off his Tuscan Raider. So his Tuscan Raider is like, he, that's what he's talking about. He droops. It like falls over. He's uh, just really drunk, okay? He yeah, he looks like he's had a couple beers. But I, I love this go. guy. Look at his face. And it's made by Funko. He's a galactic plushie. I have never seen this before. Me neither. So this is awesome. So thank you so much, Alan, for this. You're you're amazing. But not only that, he picked us up, as he mentioned, a couple dwarves. So your dwarves is this. Okay. And my dwarves is this, I think. <gasps> I already know what it is. Help! Help! I want to get this open, but it's taped. Ah! Ah! Oh, nice! Oh, my god! Oh, that's awesome. Look, it's an RV walker. And it's uh, Ghost Rider in his blue comic book outfit. Oh, this guy's so cool. Thank you Thank so you. much, Alan. You know, people do not praise Dorbs enough. Dorbs are awesome. I f***ing love Dorbs. Dorbs really need to make a comeback in a really big way. And I know where you can find some Dorbs. Secretly, I know where you can find some Dorbs. If you want to buy characters like this right here, head over to 7 pop.com So totally go and check that out. These guys are amazing. We need to bring Dorbs back in a really, really big way. How could you think they're not awesome? Look at this. The screwdriver coming out of his head. We're going to cherish our Bantha with the Tuscan Raider. I'm going to cut all of this off and have Did him hang out. Did you see it's a Target exclusive? Oh, it is a Target exclusive. I've I didn't notice that. Oh, that's so cool. So thank you so much, Alan. You're the man. So I went on seven bucks a pop real quick just to make sure where you find the Dorbs. If you search for Dorbs, you'll get a ton of them. They're like four, five, six, seven dollars. So you can go over there and buy a ton of them for a really cheap price. So head over to sevenbucksapop.com and find yours. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Andy Jensen, Headless Ned Stark, Ronnie Saunders, Migo, Simon Holden, Shooting Star 710, Mike Garut, Patrick Sleuth, Chris Haskell, and Sam Studley. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons from Patreon. You guys rock. Head over to MischiefToys.com right now for a 15% discount. Mischief Toys is our toy company with our best friend Gasly as the mascot. Head over to MischiefToys.com right now. Buy yourself a shirt, a hat, stickers. We got all sorts of stuff over there. Go and check it out. MischiefToys.com. All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we're together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.